climb on board We'll go slow in high tempo Light and dark Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so grateful for the support all that you've done to contribute to my channel. I thank you for the likes, the comments, the viewers, and the subscription, and the shares on Facebook. Whatever you've done to contribute, I really appreciate it. Now let's talk about this look that I'm rocking today. I'm wearing my hair in its natural state. I never really wear a puff. I usually wear my hair in a bun. So this is kind of different. I think this might be a once in a lifetime a once in a lifetime thing you see in my natural hair in a puff on a video so yeah and let's talk about the eyes the eyes i decided to do a colorful eye because in the past most of my videos has been neutral looks so i decided to step out and just do something with color for those people who like color and i think it's a wearable look but just in case you don't think it's wearable what you can do is you can choose one of the lip colors. Instead of using three or four lip colors, just choose one and that'll take this look from unwearable to wearable. But for me, it's wearable. I'll wear it out. If I had somewhere to go, I don't go that often, but I'll wear it out if I had somewhere to go. But I really hope you enjoy this look. Sorry for the background noise. I always try to do a live intro, but I'm never home alone. My family is always here, so you will hear a little noise here and there. And I really apologize for that. But all in all, I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you like the look. That's the most important thing. I hope that you like the look, and I hope that you learn something from this video. And I hope that you like, share, comment, and continue to support my channel. And make sure subscribe. Make sure to click the subscribe button down below. And remember, and always remember to be beautiful. And I'll see you in my next video. Alright guys, we're starting off with this NYX Jumbo Pencil in white. It's called Milkshade Stick. We're using this as our base. Whenever you're doing eyeshadow, you always want to use a base. It causes the color to be a lot more pigmented and it causes the eyeshadow to last a lot longer. Make sure you're blending your base out smoothly because if you don't, your eyeshadow will come out patchy. So make sure it's smooth. We're taking this palette by NYX. It's called Love in Rio and I'm taking this pink color as my transition color. I'm just popping that into the crease and I'm blending this upward to the brow bone. You don't have to be neat with this color. This is just the color that all of our other colors will blend into. Now I'm taking this darker pink color. It's the second one to the bottom in that row. And I'm going to be using this fluffy brush. I'm just placing this into the crease and I'm blending this up but I'm not going higher than that first color. I'm using circular motions to blend this out. And I'm also winging this out to give the eyeshadow a little bit of shape. So I'm just dragging it out a little bit. I'm just placing some more of that transition color. I lost some when I was doing the deep pink color, so I'm just adding it back there. Now I'm taking this palette again, and I'm going to be taking that purple color. I'm going to be using this dawn brush to pack that purple color into my crease. This purple color is the worst color ever. This color is not pigmented at all. I had to pack this on several times in order to get the color payoff that I wanted. I think if I didn't have a base, this color wasn't going to show up at all. I'm just packing it all with that dawn brush 
blending it out with this fluffy brush and I said I did, did this and I did this I'm so mad I can't even talk I did this for at least six to seven minutes this color was the worst now I'm adding some more of that transition color I lost some and watch watch out back into that purple color because the payoff is not great now I'm taking this deep purple color it's from the Coastal Sense 88 palette and I'm gonna be placing that on top of the struggle color that we just put down And I'm just blending this out upward into the transition color. You can see that gradient effect goes from dark to light. I think that gradient is what draws you into an eyeshadow look. It causes you to think that that person spent a lot of time doing their eyeshadow. Well, this one took long, but most of the time it doesn't. Now I'm going to be cutting my crease with this jumbo pencil again. I'm just doing a rough outline with the pencil itself. Now I'm going to be using this angle brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be using this to make the cut crease crisp. Crisp. <laughs> everybody a lot of people does it differently this is just my way so if you know how to do a cut crease just do it your way this is my way and I have to say I prefer a white base when I'm using color it just makes the color look more close to what it should be than having a yellow undertone My enemy, my ally, prisoner. Now I'm taking this color, this eyeshadow by Wet n Wild. It's called Creme Brulee. And I'm just taking it on this flat brush. And I'm just packing it on my eyes like so. I really was packing these colors on. I have to invest in some high-end colors because these low-end colors is just stress. That's all it is. They so hard to get a good payoff. Now I'm taking this yellow color from the Coastal Sense palette. And I'm using the same brush and I'm packing this one on as well. I think I'll be investing in the let's see if I can remember the name now um, Morphe colors Morphe palette now I'm taking this green color it's like a foam green color this camera does not do this color justice I have to say this color is so pretty in person and I'm just overlapping that yellow slightly and just extending it a little bit over onto that base the yellow and that green that blue green makes a beautiful lime green now I'm taking this cut this palette again and I'm using my struggle brush <laughs> this is a brush that I customized I had this for a long time and I'm going into that purple color and I'm just gonna be Placing this onto that base at the corner of the eye. Climb on board. I should say at the other part of the lid. And I'm just not concentrating on that guideline. I'm overlapping that guideline. And I'm going on to that deep purple color. It just gives that purple color more of a tint. It just makes it a lot more vibrant. To hold you close tonight and always. I love to wake up next to you. 
And this is the color that I really had to pack on. So I took my time and I packed that on for the longest. And now I'm blending it out with that cream color. Make sure everything is seamless. Now I'm outlining my cut crease with this glitter liner. I just want it to be a lot more dramatic so I add the glitter. I'm not really a big glitter fan but hey just for this look I decided I would put some glitter on. And I'm going to use this concealer just to clean up the edges of this eyeshadow. I just love a crisp eyeshadow. I love it when it's crisp at the edge. I'm out of full frame. I'm out of frame, but I think you can understand what I'm doing. Now I'm here with my lashes on and my eyeliner already drawn. Now I'm going to be lining my lips with this regular just brown lip liner. And I'm going to be using this brush to blend it out. I don't know what kind of brush it is, but I know it has like a little foam end. I like this brush. And I'm using this li liquid lipstick by Santi. It doesn't have a name, but on the bottom it says 50. I don't know if that, you know. And this is my first lip look. I have two, two options. And I have a little bit of glitter on my face. Finally got rid of that little bit of glitter. And I think I'm satisfied. I think I'm satisfied with the look. I really like the outcome. I think it was fun. It was so much fun to make this look. I hope you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember to be beautiful.